Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Jay. I had a chance to do a bit of crafting and I have a friend, some friends, and we're doing some exchanges of dangles. And I also wanted to make a dangle for one of my friends who's having a birthday. So I'm not a um I'm not a jewelry maker or anything like that. So I'm just trying it. So let me first show and show you what I made, and then I will um Try to make one on 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 camera so you can see what I did in case you haven't made one. But they're they're very easy to make. So I made this red one. It's pretty long, and I really like that one. I made this cute blue one. I put the blues and little blue things in there. Thought it was pretty. I made this one simple. I'm one of the girls that's in the um exchange said she likes simple ones she doesn't like a whole bunch of um stuff with her so i made that simple one made this nice yellow one i liked it it's really pretty it has like the danglies it has like a little globe that has little um star glitter star and heart glitter in there um i put some stars and some hearts and i put this nice um this nice little square here and then I made this one. This is like a, 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 a um, paper clip for your planner. And I like the way that one turned out. It's just a bow and you can clip it onto your planner. I don't got anything to clip it on with. Let's see, oh, here. It's just a bow. You can clip it onto your planner, planner and it dangles off on the page. So they, I think they all turned out pretty good for me doing this my first time and not being a true um, a jewelry maker. So let me try to make one on camera. So I'm really gonna try it on camera. It was, you know, I was hard going when I was trying to make them. Um, I keep getting little things on my pad here. So I, um, trying to make them. I'm gonna try to make a black. So I'm gonna try to make one on camera for you. I got some beads that I've already strung, got my chain, Got my eye pen, got my, um, um, what's that thing called? My clamp, I think that's what that called. And I'm gonna make the tassel first. So how I make mine is, I usually put it on my hand like this, and then I just start wrapping it. Some people use like, uh, like paper and wrap it around the paper to the length that they want, but I just learned how to do it by wrapping it around my hand. I'm sure there's a, a easier way and a more what you call it way so I'm hoping I'm not making you dizzy with me wrapping this around my hand but I usually wrap it until I get the desired um, thickness that I want of my tassel you can use um, yarn or or anything else that you have some people use fabric and they make a big nice fabric one and I'm gonna make one of those later on today with the with some fabric. Oop. Make sure I got this going right. I knew it would kind of flake out since I was doing it on camera. But you just keep wrapping it. Keep wrapping it. And I have this little um thing of um of um twine that I'm gonna use. So I have this little thing of twine that, that I'm using because I want to make it black. I want to make my tassel black. So anyway, I keep wrapping it. I kind of want it to be kind of thick, so I'm going to have to wrap it a little bit. I don't want to make the video too long, but I want to keep wrapping it, wrapping it. Oop, don't, get, don't get messy with your wrapping, Jay. So I want it to be kind of thick. Okay, so I'm gonna say a couple more times around and that should be it. Make it longer so I can dangle down. Then I need to put one of these hooks through it. So I'm gonna keep it on my hand till I'm ready. Got my little tools here. So, 
when you're using your um, your thing, you put it on here, and to open it up, you just move one one back, just move it back, and leave it like that. So you see how it is now that I moved it back? You don't pull it to the side. You just move it back and forth. Then you put it on here. And I usually add, uh, I usually add one of these clamps here so that all my stuff don't come apart while I'm trying to put this back together. So I'm gonna put it back together. And to put it back together, I do the same thing. Grab it and move this, oop, hope it on. I knew I wasn't gonna, be, and then move it forward. Move them close to each other. Cause I didn't, I don't want to go side to side. Move it forward, move this one forward. Okay. I knew I would do that. So keep moving it until the sides go back together. There they go. Almost there. Gotta move this one. This is like a, I get really fast on Okay, there it is, it's back together. So then, after I got it back together like that, I smoosh this down a little bit, smoosh this down, lay it down, smoosh it down. Need two hands for this, but I can't. Smoosh this down a bit. Then I get another piece of my string, cut it. And then I figure out where I want to put my bulb. I think I want it like that. Yep, like that. So then I start to tie it off. Tie it off. Okay, I'm tying it off. Move these guys out the way. Give it a couple of ties on this side. A couple of ties on this side. Flip it over, tie it on this side, because I want to tie it as many times as I can, because I want to make sure it stays tight. Because I want it to be tight. And some people put a little, once they get their knot the way they want it, some people put a little hot glue there. All depends on what you want to do. If you want to put hot glue, you can. So I'm just tying it. I'm gonna flip it over and tie it one more time. Oop, if I could pick it up. So I'll flip it over and tie it one more time. There. And then I'm just gonna let these guys dangle down with that. So then, what I wanna do next is I need to open up, go here, through here, where all my things are. And I want to cut this open. So there it is. Let me smooth it down a little bit. Smooth it down a little bit. Since I tied it so tight, I got that one little part up here that's not quite right, but you get the gist of the idea. Then I wanna get my scissors and I wanna trim them so that they're all quite the same. There, move this over there. So I trimmed them, they're all quite the same and there it is. So that's my tassel. I don't like these pieces up here. So later, I may take some glue and glue them down. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna hold that to the side for a bit. I have my beads here. So, and I'm gonna put my chain on, but I'm gonna make my bead thing next. So what I wanna do is I wanna start loading this up with beads the way I like it. So I wanna put this one on here. And this one. I think I want to use something like that. Um, 
maybe a little spacer. Uh, maybe this one. So this one can have a little interest on it. And maybe a pearl. Okay, that's looking good. What do you think? That looks pretty good. Then I'll put another teeny, another black one. Okay, got to find a little hole. Oops. Trying to find a little hole. Put that one on there. And I think I want another one of these spacer things on top. Okay. Now that I have that, that's the way I like it. I'm going to take my pinchy tool here. And I think I'm going to take a little bit off. Just a little bit. Okay, so now that I've taken some off, I'm going to hold it. Maybe not that. I think I want to put... So I didn't like that one. I think I want to put one of these topper things on it like that. I want to put that on it instead to top it off. So I'm going to take my clamper tool and I'm going to start twisting it. Twisting it until I can get a little two circles here or close to two circles and get it down. So there's my two circles and I'm just going to clamp them together so that they look okay. All right, so I got my two circles. See, got my two circles. So the next thing I want to do, so now I have my four set of beads I want to put on. So I want to put, I think I like this chain. Let me see if I like this chain or this chain. I think I'll go with the darker chain. So what I want to do here is I want to get one of my rings. get one of the rings. I want to open it again. Swoosh that back a little bit. I want to take it and put it through a few of these because I just want it to dangle down from this. So I want to put, it's kind of hard to do this on camera, but I want to feed it through the, the, the top part. I want to take my chain Put my chain through it. Then I want to take this, close it back up. Close it back up. Okay, keep going till I can close it. Hold this one a bit. Move this one. Okay, so you notice that it's cl it's closing. Move it. Okay. Takes a little finesse to, to get it to do it. There. There we go. Give it a little clamp. And now it's closed up. And I have my... That's not closed as much as I like. Let me do it a little bit more. Thought it was closed, but it's not closed enough. Okay, let's play with it again. Okay, push it back. Push this one forward. Oh. Push it forward. Then it'll forward. And I, I can't get my good grip on it. There we go. Now there we go. That's pretty close. this one in there all right so now we have it got my chains on and what I want to do is I want to put some of these rings and be able to put my I need four of these I want to be able to put my um, little danglies on okay Let's do the first one. First one here. So 
open up the ring, get it on the chain, Oop. put it through the chain, through the chain, through the chain, add on a dangly, add on a dangly, and then close it back up. Okay, bring it forward, forward. Okay, notice it's closed up. So we got one dangly on. Got one dangly on the chain. Then let's do it again. And this one, I'll put this one here in the middle. Now you can put them on anywhere on your chain that you want. And everybody does theirs a different way. So once you start doing yours, figure out what you want to do and the kind of look that you want and how you want yours to dangle off your chains. But I kind of like mine like this. If I can get this, if I can get a hold on it. See on camera, your whole, your whole, when you're on camera, your whole fingers and everything just can't. They just don't even work right. Before I was able to like loop them, put them on there, get them going. Now they're falling off because it goes, oh, people are watching. People are watching you, Jay. Close it, push it forward, push the other one, come on, jump on there, ready, push it, push it forward, bring it forward, bring that one forward, okay, bring it forward some, because it's in the back, give it a little clap, okay, so I got two of them on. Now I got two more. This one's pretty long, so I want to put it right there at the top. Okay. Let's get it in my hands again. Do that. I'll put it at the top there. Put it on the ring there, hold it up, do that, oops, slip down, don't fall off, don't fall off, nice to fall off, okay, move it forward, move it forward, see, now, that's the way it should have acted before. Okay. So we got them on there like that. Hanging on with the tassel. Now this one, I want to put it right there so it can dangle down a little bit more. I need another ring. Need another ring. Move it forward. Didn't I have another one? Oh, there it is. Slide it on there. Okay. Where's my chain? I said I want to put it right. Slide my chain on it. Seal it up. Okay, here we go again. Move it forward. A little bit more. Move this one back. See how see how easy that one's that's going forward. How that one's getting together closer than it took me on the first ones. I must be feeling a little bit more relaxed about getting this done. 
Plus, this is the last one. Okay. So, I have my, I have my dangles, and I have my thing. I like the way this came out. So for that little piece that I'm going to have to glue down. Now, I need to add this guy. Now, I could attach him to this ring here. I think I will attach him, but then he's a swivelly thing. Okay, I'll attach him here again. So I'm going to have to open this up again. I should have put it on when I had it open for, first, but I didn't. But I didn't. But I didn't. So put on my swivel clamp. Put on my swivel clamp. Start closing it back. Pull it forward. Pull it. Oop. That's the only thing. I don't have a good grip on it. Okay. There it is. That's my on-camera black dangly. Don't you just like that one right there? You know, and if you want, if you have extra chain like this and you don't want to keep it on there, you can always get your cutters and cut off the extra where you want it to cut off at. If I can make this cut now that I'm on camera. doesn't seem to want to trim itself right now but you get the gist of what I'm trying to tell you you could cut this off if you don't want it to dangle forward it's not coming it's not coming with me right now so I have this black one you know what I wanted to do I wanted to add this dog foot but dog foot doesn't go with it I like dog foot but dog foot doesn't go with it okay so Here's the ones I made. Okay, I made this one with, I made this one with the dollar store um, stuff, with the dollar store yarn. It had that, um, that yarn. I think that one came out pretty and fluffy. Here's the blue one that I made. It looks nice. Um, where's the other one? I made this one. I made a red one too, but I already put that away to be gifted. And I have this yellow one. So I think they all came out pretty nice. Tell me what you think. Tell me which one's your favorite. But I think I think I like this one. I think I like this one because it's so fluffy. What do you think? I think I like that one because it's so fluffy. It's kind of um, different from the others. They're all kind of different. And I did make one with yarn, I think. Yep. Oh, here's the one with yarn. Wait a minute. Move out the way. Here's the one with yarn. Move in here. Here's the one with yarn and just a bow. Because one of the, and, cause one of the ladies that we're trading with, she said she only liked plain ones. So I made the yarn plain one. And this plain one with the bows. So tell me what you think. Tell me which one you like best. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on my channel, give me a thumbs up. Comment. Give me some comments down below. It's my first time making them. I think I really, I really liked making them. And um, I um, ordered a jewelry making book. Got a jewelry making book. So I could learn how to um, do them a little bit better. This one's just really cute. This white, this yellow one, because it has this little dangle on here with stars and hearts in it. So thank you for joining me today. I'll talk to you in the next video. I'm making a wreath for my door, and I'm making two wreaths. One's really big, and it's taking a while to get that one going. So I'm going to show you the little one on camera that I'm making. I'm making a wreath for my door, so I'll show you how I did that. I bought some stuff from a dollar store and Joann's. So I'll let you know how that goes. Talk to you in the next video. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.